Hi there folks, it's Jonathan Denwood here from WP Tonic and in this video I'm going to be talking about an up and coming learning management system, that a WordPress plugin, Tutor LMS. It's getting more popular by every month. Um, it seems to have a lot to offer. I've got some great insights comparing it to some of the more established WordPress learning management system plugins. I think I've got some great insights. I will be back in a few moments, folks. We're coming back, folks. Um, like I say, we're going to be discussing Tutor LMS. Um, how does it compare with some of the established learning membership um, plugins in the WordPress space? What are some of its strengths and some of its weaknesses? Um, also want to point out, I've written a great article that goes into a lot more detail. I'm going to keep this video short and sweet, um, which I normally try and do, because um, I know that um, that's the best way. And I've got the link to the larger article in the video description underneath this video. If you find this video really useful, also give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. That'd be, I always answer in them. So, Tutor. Um, it's grown in popularity. Um, it's been around about three or four years. Um, I think what its strength is, it does have a free product, but the truth is the free product, I wouldn't say it's crippled. That would be unfair, but I would say compared to the paid versions, its, it's functionality is greatly reduced. Um, you've got to go for the paid version. The paid version is around $199 for one website license. What do you get for the money? Um, basically, you get quite a bit. Um, I think its real strength is it's got a really nice modern um, interface design. Um, in the back end, um, where you're administrating students and on the front end, the actual course and lesson um, grid and how the lesson looks, it looks very appealing and quite modern, very modern. I, that would be a better way of putting it. <clears throat> so it does have a lot to offer. It, it got, it's, got, it's got nothing revolutionary compared to the other competitors SAS or in the WordPress space. Um, but what it does offer is, like I say, at a moderate price, it offers a lot of functionality and it's got a great design, um, which people will find appealing. Where do the problems begin? The problems is not with them so much. The problems are the competition they're facing. And this is how it pans out. Now, the main competition they're facing is LearnDash and Lifter LMS. Let's start with Lifter LMS. Their problem with Learner Lifter LMS is that Lifter offers a tremendous amount of functionality for free. Bogs of functionality for free. Ridiculous amount of functionality for free. They've got paid plans, and the next plan up um, starts at the same price or lower than what two does one one site license starts. And they brought out a new license pack. I think it's called um, Earth. Um, that's pretty good value. Or you get tons of functionality, and all you have to do if you if you're looking to take payment. He's just by the, the Stripe add-on, which I think is about $125. And then you can be off to the races. Um, the other thing you get with Lifter is you get a tremendous community. Um, the Lifter people really believe in support and they offer a lot of free support, a lot of community-based support, Zooms, Facebook. They've got a ton and they've got a lot of um, educational material. So um, when it comes to the cheaper side, Tutor has a bit of a problem, and that problem is Lifter LMS. And Lifter has a load of add-ons. So does Tutor. Tutor's got quite a few add-ons as well. But um, basically, the integrations you'll find that works with Lifter is going to be at a much higher level 
than two do. That's unfair, but that's just the reality. Now, on the other side, in some ways, similar price, you've got LearnDash. LearnDash was into the market a bit, not too much, but a little bit before Lyft at LMS and has built um, has built a tremendous following. Now, if you go to the uh, one of the Facebook groups, that um, the leading one that um, helps you with learn learn dash, I think they've got about 17, 18,000 actual members of that group. And it, it's got a large following. It's got a lot of people in the larger WordPress space that integrate with Learn Dash. Um, it, 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 it's got a lot of functionality and it starts, I think the one site is slightly cheaper than Tudor. I would say the weaknesses of, um, of Lifter and Learn Dash is that the actual design isn't quite as polished as what you get with Tudor. But on the other hand, I know, especially with the Lifter, they're, mo they're spending a lot of resources in modernising the, the interface a bit. Don't get me wrong, it's not antiquated, neither of them, Lifter or Learn Dash. Um, the same, I think the same thing is going on with Learn Dash. That you know that they're mo they're modernising their interface a little bit. So that, just to recap, can totally understand why Tudor is doing well. It's, it's got a great interface and um, the back end, the admin looks really good. It's got a wide selection of add-on in, in uh, add-ons that can integrate with other key WordPress plugins. It's got a nice course and lesson public interface, um, offers a lot of functionality. It, its problem is not quite, and it's unfair in some ways, but it's a reality. Its problem is not itself. Its problem is it's facing some really stiff and established competition in the WordPress space. Hopefully you found this um, video really helpful. If you did, ring that bell so you get my next video subscribe to the channel that's the most powerful way you can support me um, and also share this video on social media that's really helpful i will be back soon with another video that will help you build a great membership website for yourself and for your family see you soon folks bye